Bengals Chiefs. I tell you what, Bengals come out of beating the Ravens. Lots of momentum here. They go from beating the Ravens to thinking about the playoffs. And all of a sudden, they're thinking about the potential of a number one seed. Still not out of the picture here, I don't think, for these Bengals. Nonetheless, the Chiefs have been a team that have been very tough to slow down lately. And it looks like they've been clicking on all cylinders as of late. Now, they've been just demolished, if you will, these last couple weeks, starting with Chris Jones there against the Chargers with the COVID. With with the, yeah, we're going to call it the COVID. That didn't sound proper. With the COVID. They've been demolished, though. We're going to start seeing these guys. I would expect to slowly come back more and more and more as they come up to playing the Bengals here coming into this Sunday. We'll bring it up. We are a week and a half short. We're a week and a half early because we will not be around when the Bengals do play Chiefs. So we're previewing it a week early. So if there's injuries, hopefully nothing too serious happens this Sunday where the Bengals and Chiefs play beforehand. But as far as COVID's concerned, we know that's a little bit harder to predict down the road. That you can the NFL is getting more and more lenient with it, period. Where they're just letting teams play. Nonetheless, Chiefs clearly favorites to win this one. So let's talk about what our Cincinnati Bengals need to do to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. First of all, this is the ultimate test for Zach Taylor and how he's going to do as a coach for the Bengals moving forward. Because this is a game where you look back at you know the Chiefs they did against the Chargers, for example. Chargers went up there, put some points on them. Uh, Chargers really, you, you look at that game and said they should have won it. They had three different uh, ends, red zone inside the five where they came up with zero points in that game. Ended up losing in overtime. But what the Chargers did really well in that football game was really have a balanced team or a balanced attack. The run game looked really good. Bengals like to lean on that run game when they can't. But see, the problem with the Chiefs, you can't get too comfortable leaning on the run game because the second you do and the second you, you get conservative for a down or two or a drive or two, Kansas City's going to go out there, put some points up, and really either come back and take the lead or start to put a gap between you and them in the football game. So there has to be a very precise balance where you see that run game ain't working early. You got to get away from it early. There ain't no wait and hope it comes together later in the game. You have to play pound for pound against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, on the contrary, I, you want to say, hey, let's run up and down the field against these Chiefs. Got the firepower to do it. They probably can't slow down this Bengals offense. But the second you say, let's run up and down this field really quickly, you keep your defense on the field longer, you wear them down, you don't allow your pass rushers time to get to Patrick Mahomes. You got to get pressure on this guy because you allow him to work, he's going to just tear you apart. So what's going to happen? Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey are just too good. Travis Kelsey, who, by the way, is Logan Wilson going to play? It still isn't looking promising, but if he doesn't play, you're down him, you're, you're down Bocce. He's going to have a big game. Logan Wilson, gonna, or Travis Kelsey going to have a big game. He's going to have a big game regardless, but he might have a really big game. You know, Patrick Mahomes in that offense, they're going to exploit that weakness in a Bengals defense. They're going to have a hard time slowing him down. So it may well come down to those games or it just might be a shootout for last possession when it's a football game. Two quarterbacks that got the ability to do so. Back at the Bengals, though, I tell you what else I like seeing what the Chargers did against the Chiefs here. You've seen Justin Herbert get a little mobile out there. You've seen him scramble out, try to create some time, and he didn't waste a lot of time doing it. Had, it's like he had the little timer in his head, one, two, out. Maybe not even that long, where he tried to create a little bit of uh, time on the sidelines. And when he did that, there was a lot of breakdowns on the Kansas City side, and they was moving the football down and moving it down really, really well. Joe Burrow has been getting more and more mobile this season. I look for him to try to do that again this game. You got to find a way. You got to make sure the pocket ain't collapsing completely around him, obviously. But I think they got to find a way to allow him to extend those plays because he just does an outstanding job of extending plays and making big plays happen when that does happen. Chiefs, the team, as we know, they don't really run the ball a lot. They don't run the ball a lot because they don't really have to. They got one of the best quarterbacks on the planet out there, and they're going to sling that rock. And they're, again... I think it's going to be tough for the Bengals to match up. It's going to be the ultimate test for the Bengals because I think what really helps this Bengals defense time and time again is they have a good run defense. You know what? You slow them down on first down. Maybe you create a second and long, third and long, and you can get them pass throws on a quarterback. But I don't think Kansas City allows you to get to those situations too often because they're just going to want to throw the football more often. And for that, we got to see how these guys, this secondary plays for the Bengals, how they match up against some of these dynamic players in the Chiefs. I think what I want to see in this game is I want to see the Bengals continue to progress the no huddle game 
I don't want to see a hurry up no huddle offense where they hurry up to the line, snap the ball with 20 seconds left on the play clock. I want to see a hurry to the line, let Joe Burrow stand there for 15 seconds, snap the ball with five, six, seven seconds left. Because I still want to see them try to run out as much clock as possible, keep the defense on the sideline, allow them to catch their breath, keep Patrick Mahomes on the sideline. But you want to see the Bengals' offensive line get a little bit of a break. You want to see the Kansas City defense get worn down. The best way to do that is force the guys to stay on the field. Don't allow them to substitute in and out of the game. And I think that's the key to allowing the Bengals to stay in this game. Have a bit of a, again, a track meet, if you will, against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be a high-scoring game. You got to capitalize on the mistakes, though. Again, you uh, Kansas City allows or create, has mistakes in this game, whether it be turnovers, whether it be special teams, whether defense just lets you bring that football right down. But you have to capitalize. Because if you don't, you're going to end up allowing this team staying in the game, get back in the game. They're going to win the game. They're just too good to not capitalize on mistakes with. Bengals have been doing better. But that's the difference in the Bengals this season. Dropping passes, missing uh, coverage, uh, blown coverages, missing blocks in the backfield, just leaving guys completely unabated. It's been their issues. Will the Bengals clean them up? I tell you what, Bengals win this football game. Things are looking pretty good. I want to see it happen, though. I can't bet against a Kansas City Chiefs team that has just been running a rough shot through the league. The Kansas City Chiefs team, who, by the way, I don't know if anybody's noticed this because I remember those, what, three and fours? Like, man, what's happening to Kansas City? What's happening to Kansas City? They played two teams all season. They will play two teams all season that has a record below 500. They ran an absolute gauntlet of a schedule this season. All that does is make them stronger. They're going to be a scary team to play in playoffs. That's all there is to it. I'm going to say Chiefs 38, Bengals 34. Chiefs going to win this one. Love you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.